Let's look at an alternative way of multiplying a matrix by a vector. We'll present this method via example. Before we do anything else, let's just observe that we can multiply this matrix by this vector, the dimensions match, and the result will be a three by one vector. So in particular, this matrix has three rows, this vector has three rows. And that's always true. When we're doing this multiplication, this matrix will always have as many rows as this vector. So when I, sorry, when I said that's always true, I didn't mean that there would be three rows specifically. I meant that this matrix and this vector would have the same number of rows. What we're going to do is use the first row of this matrix to find the first row of this vector. And the product, sorry, the process is as follows. Here is the first row written vertically. Here is the vector. We're going to multiply these numbers sitting next to each other. One, four, negative eight. And then we're going to add them. And that will be our entry there. The second row here will get us the second row here in the same way. We write the second row down, but we write it vertically like a column. Then we write the vector also vertically like a column. We multiply numbers sitting next to each other. And we add. The advantage of this method is that if you're working with fairly small vectors and matrices by hand, it tends to be relatively quick. So for example, this entry here, one plus two is three minus four is negative one. When you get a little practice, you can take these products fairly quickly using this method. It's usually quicker if you are working by hand than it would be to set up the linear combination and do all this scalar multiplication and then do all of the addition. The downside of this method is that it's kind of cryptic. Like when I first learned linear algebra, this was how multiplication was defined. And it, I, it, I, it wasn't until I was in graduate school that I realized what multiplication is actually doing. 
that its linear combinations of columns. For literally years, I knew how to multiply matrices by vectors using this method, but I had no idea why it was defined that way. So as the first definition student C, I don't like this. But once you understand this product in terms of linear combinations, this can be a useful shortcut.